Okay, my friends, what you see right there is a white blood cell, and what you see right there is bacteria. And what you are going to see in a second is the relationship between the white, cell, white blood cells, the bacteria, and your health, and probiotics. And you can cure yourself literally within minutes. And I am going to show you, do not click off of this. Okay, my friends, this is Roger, Mud Fossil University. More excited today than I think I have ever been in my life because I can tell you today how to heal yourself literally by tomorrow. And I have been doing the research on gut bacteria and how it literally is your health, 100%. Now, the latest techniques of photo... Um, techniques of looking into living cells is made this just totally illuminated. Now, white blood cells are the place where the bacteria reside, because every one of them you're going to see is talks about bacteria. They, that's where the bacteria resides. That's where they make the enzymes. I'll explain all that in a minute. Now, these are the types of white blood cells. There's monocytes. They have a longer lifespan than, than white blood cells and help than, than many other white blood cells and help to break down bacteria. So here they are. They're working with bacteria. Lymphocytes. They create antibodies, which I'll talk about later, to fight against bacteria, viruses, and other harmful invaders. Now, then you have neutrophils. They kill and digest bacteria and fungi, which is left over, apparently. They're the most numerous type of white blood cell and your first line of defense when infection strikes. So they kill and digest bacteria and fungi. Probably it's not supposed to be there. No, but we wouldn't want to be able to look at all these types. Basophils, small cell seems to sound an alarm when infectious agents invade your body. We're actually going to see those. They secrete chemicals such as histamines, which is an allergic disease, um, a marker of allergic disease to help control the body's immune response. So they are secreting a molecule, and I'm sure that goes up the vagus nerve. Now, uh, esophils, they attack and kill parasites and cancer cells and help with allergic responses. This is where the chemistry is being done, and now we're going to look at that chemistry being done. All right, medical news today, enzymes, what do they do and how do they do it? They help speed up chemical reactions in the human body. That fast would take 100 years if it wasn't for the enzymes. They bind to molecules, they change them, they alter them, they break them, they reconstruct them, they do whatever they do, and there's a bazillion different types of enzymes, as you will see. Essential for respiration, digesting, muscle, nerve function, thousands of other roles, which means thousands of proteins. And that, my friend, is how complex a protein is. And that, my friend, is being built by a bacteria. And that, my friend, is what you need to be healthy. Now, you may be able to alter your cells a little of this, a little of that, with some kind of chemistry they put into you. And they may be able to make it something close to this with some very, very sophisticated chemistry interactions yes however it's not going to be like your body I, I, I'm telling you that right now there is no chemistry that a human is going to be able to create that's going to be as elegant as your body is going to create and it's on demand by your vagus nerve from your brain to the enzymes strictly from the bacteria now I've been studying the chemistry of biology for a very long time and now with the new techniques they are able to show these processes actually in real time happening. This is Seeker and um, here's I'm going to show you the actual white blood cell and these are the manufacturing plants in the cell. These are the actual bacteria that do the manufacturing of the enzymes and I am going to explain all this in extreme detail. Now watch what happens and how these bacteria create the enzymes. The enzymes get squirted up into the bloodstream and they do the chemistry that makes you healthy. They are just like a prescription. Watch. Scooping up sugars in the ear of a zebrafish. In... Alright, you see what's happened there? One of these bacteria decided to become active and start 
rocks gobbling up things. Well, what is it gobbling up? It's gobbling up molecules that it's turning into enzymes. And I will show you how complicated enzymes are in a minute. And if you didn't have those enzymes to do this job, and it does it instantly, it would take 100 years to do the same thing with other types of chemistry. Real time. See, right out into the bloodstream. Crawling immune cells. We've noticed two classes of them. One. Three classes of immune cells. One of them just is a sniffer. It doesn't gobble up anything. It sends information probably right up through the vagus nerve. This is probably the vagus nerve. You see all these five nerve fibers? I believe that's coming up and it's sampling. And it's if it sees a molecule or some kind of chemistry in there that it doesn't like or doesn't know what to do about, it sends a signal up the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve goes to the brain. The brain says, Wow, I never heard of that ke chemical before. Let me see if we know anything about it. And this is where they have no clue about. The vagus nerve will send off to a place called CPG islands. That is what they call junk DNA. CPG islands are the programming islands, and there's zillions of little on-off switches in there that are the program that says, oh, I know what that molecule is. I can make a certain bacteria down in the gut create a molecule to counteract it. So here's the sniffer. It sniffs. Oh, it goes up the vagus nerve. The brain says, ooh, I want somebody to deal with this. And it sends a signal back from the from the CPG islands. It's, it, it probes them because 98% of your your DNA, they call it junk DNA. It's not junk DNA. That is where all these codes are stored. And if it, it's just like where your vaccines are. Well, they call it a vaccine. It's called an antibody. And this is a nothing more than saying, okay, well, oh yeah, we, we got antibodies for that. Send it back. And this certain type of bacteria down in the gut, which I will show you in a second, have them make that kind of chemical, send it out. And here's what happens. Here's the sniffer. It was not hungry at all, but it was very active in terms of trying to figure out, you know, what the environment is. There's another one that was kind of slouching around with a lot of food in its belly. We can actually conceptualize and visualize and analyze the contents of each of these cellular compartments. Well, before you go here, you see all these different ones? I don't know whether these are different types of bacteria or whether they're all the same bacteria and you can just, but I think they're all different types. I think this might be streptococci, this and that, and little, 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 all different names, and every one of them creates a different enzyme. And every one of them can be addressed differently by the vagus nerve to create it. Now, if you didn't have any of that one, that type, this sends a signal down. He said, well, I don't have that guy. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, well, there's nothing you can do. So the guy, he said, well, the guy's got to get rid of some kind of chemistry out there. What do I do? He said, well, there's nothing you can do. You don't have the bacteria. You're done. Now, if you have pro probiotics in there, and we don't know what these are, but listen to what he says about the colors, because I did a video, I'm going to see if I can find it, a while back about the colors of health. And, and and I just posted it the other day called Color Me Pink, which means you're happy. Color Me Blue, which means you're unhappy. And I had somebody post in and say, my daughter can see the colors of people when they're sick. <laughs> I'm serious. Now watch this. So don't forget, these are your blood cells, your white blood cells. And these are the manufacturing factories that create the enzymes. And I'm going to show you those are it's very, very complicated. And then they send them out into the bloodstream. Those enzymes have an antigen and an antibody. The antigen is an address. And it is a receptor out there will say, oh, that's the address I was looking for. And it will grab a hold of it. And it will let that antibody in through one of these little channels a protein channel, I think they call it. And in, in it will go, and then it will do its job to, to make you healthy. Now, the colors are the key, because the color of, see the color yellow here? That means that there's certain chemistry there that makes it that color. That pink is certain, that blue is something else. This, all these different colors mean different chemistry. So if they can watch these things happen, and they say they can in real time, and this is supposed to be happening actually real time, 
And if they can see those colors change, we know what molecules are being created. All right? That's how they can tell all the different molecules now. So let's go back here again and watch it one more time from the early part. And there's that guy saying, I'm making a whole batch of enzymes, and I'm going to squirt them out into the bloodstream. And these other guys are laying around saying, well, nobody's telling me to make anything right now, so I'm just going to lay back. And sooner or later, the vagus nerve will say, hey, you, you, wake up and go make some enzymes. And they just keep making them until they aren't needed anymore. That's the beauty of this system. Where we can actually see immune cells speaking of sugars in the ear of a zebrafish in real time. Focusing only on the crawling immune cells, we've noticed two classes of them. One seemed was not hungry at all, but it was very active in terms of trying to figure out, you know, what the environment is. There's another one that was kind of sloshing around with a lot of food in its belly. We can actually conceptualize and visualize and analyze the contents of each of these cellular compartments in this crawling immune cell as it's kind of, you know, scooping up its environment. I mean, By the color. That is a level of details no one's seen before. We're living in a new era of cell by this is the kind of vagus nerve interactivity with all of your organs, all of your cells. It's absolutely stunning what the human body is capable of. And this is really, nobody's ever been able to see this level of detail. So, you know, I've always sort of suspected this, but I had no way to ever prove anything until just recently with the, the new techniques.